The relentless Egyptian sun beat down on Samantha Ray as she crouched in the shadows of a crumbling limestone wall, the ancient ruins of Karnak stretching out before her. Sweat trickled between her shoulder blades beneath her cocky shirt, but it wasn't just the oppressive heat making her heart pound. Her fingers closed around the worn metal of her father's compass, its needle quivering north, the only memento she had left of him, the only clue to his fate. Ten years. That's how long it had been since renowned archaeologist Jonathan Ray vanished without a trace on an expedition to this very spot, leaving a devastated 15-year-old Samantha and a hollowed-out shell of a family behind. A decade of sorrow slowly hardening into determination as she followed in his footsteps, earning her degree, honing her skills, chasing down every whispered rumor of the legendary Ankh of Osiris, the artifact he died pursuing. The artifact that supposedly held the key to eternal life and unimaginable power in the wrong hands. Grief and grit had forged Samantha into the adventurer she was now, standing on the cusp of the discovery of a lifetime. She could feel it singing in her blood, echoing in the marrow of her bones. This was her destiny. This was how she would honor her father, rewrite the ending of his story. Across the sun-baked courtyard, her local guide Malik shifted uneasily, his dark eyes scanning the tourist-free ruins. We should not linger here, Samantha, he warned in heavily accented English. The temple is closed for a reason. Strange things have been happening, stories of a curse. Samantha stood, brushing sand from her pants. I didn't come all this way to be frightened off by superstitious rumors. She shot him a tight smile. Besides, you know me, I don't believe in curses. Malik muttered something that sounded like stubborn under his breath, but dutifully fell into step beside her as she approached the towering columns of the hypostyle hall, their hieroglyph etched stone weathered by untold centuries. Samantha ran her fingertips over the ancient inscriptions, wonder and determination warring in her chest. Somewhere in this sprawling necropolis lay the entrance to a hidden crypt, and the ink. She could feel it. A shadow fell across the sun-drenched stone, and Samantha spun, heart lurching into her throat. A man stood silhouetted in the pillared entryway, a beaten leather fedora shading his face. As he stepped closer, she saw he was young, perhaps a few years older than her own twenty-five. Handsome, too, with sharp cheekbones, golden brown skin and striking amber eyes that seemed to pierce right through her. You must be Samantha Ray, he said, his baritone voice sending an involuntary shiver down her spine. He tipped his hat. Drake Sullivan, at your service. Drake Sullivan? Samantha arched a disbelieving brow. The treasure hunter? I've heard stories about you. None of them good. His lips quirked in a roguish grin. Never believe everything you hear, love. Especially not in this business. Samantha crossed her arms. And just what businesses are you in exactly? Raiding tombs. Stealing artifacts? Selling them to the highest bidder? Ouch. Drake clapped a hand to his chest in mock affront. You wound me, Dr. Ray. I prefer to think of it as liberating history, making sure it's properly appreciated. By lining your pockets, a bloke's gotta eat, he winked. But believe it or not, I'm not here for my own gain this time. I'm here to help you. Samantha blinked. Help me? Why on earth would you want to help me? Drake reached into his satchel and withdrew a tattered leather-bound journal that made Samantha's breath catch because I was a friend of your father's. He held out the journal and she took it with numb fingers, hardly daring to breathe as she cracked the brittle pages. Her father's tight scrawl leapt out at her, achingly familiar. Sketches, maps, cryptic notes in the margins, all leading here. This was my father's, she whispered. I. He sent it to me for safekeeping before he disappeared along with a letter. Drake's voice softened. He wanted me to finish what he'd started. Find the ank. And keep it out of the wrong hands. Samantha dragged her burning gaze from the journal. What wrong hands? Ever heard of the cult of Anubis? An icy chill skated down her spine despite the sweltering heat. The cult of Anubis d'Or. Whispers of them had followed her like a shadow these past months. 
a sinister cabal determined to harness the dark secrets of Egypt's past to rain destruction on the modern world. I thought they were a myth. A scary story archaeologists told around campfires. I assure you they're very real. And very dangerous. Drake's chiseled jaw tightened. They're the ones who took your father, Samantha. Because he got too close. Her heart clenched, a familiar ache blooming behind her ribs. Did they? Did they? She couldn't bring herself to finish the question, to voice the fear that had haunted her for a decade. I don't know, Drake said quietly. But I promised Jonathan I would keep you safe. And that I would find the ank before they could. Samantha swallowed hard against the sudden thickness in her throat, a single tear escaping down her wind-chapped cheek. This was it. The answers she'd been searching for, the purpose that had driven her for so long. But something wasn't adding up. Why now? She demanded hoarsely. Why come to me now after all this time? Drake hesitated, shadows darkening his amber eyes. Because they're closing in. I've stayed one step ahead of them for years, but they're relentless. We're running out of time. Samantha held up the journal. And you expect me to trust you based on the word of a man I've never even met? No. His mouth twisted wryly. I expect you to take a leap of faith. Same as your father did. Samantha wavered, torn between suspicion and desperation, grief and hope. Could she really put her trust, her very life, in the hands of a self-serving scoundrel she barely knew? She thought of her father's warm smile, his strong hands guiding hers as he taught her to wield a trowel, a brush. The way his eyes would light with wonder as he spoke of the mysteries of the past, the secrets waiting to be uncovered beneath the shifting Egyptian sands. Secrets she was now achingly close to discovering herself, with Drake Sullivan by her side, with her father's journal clutched to her racing heart and the taste of destiny on her tongue. All right, Mr. Sullivan, she said, resolve crystallizing in her chest. You have yourself a partner. For now, his roguish grin returned as he held out a hand. I thought you'd never ask. Samantha clasped his warm, calloused palm, something electric zinging through her at the contact. This was it. The adventure of a lifetime. A chance to solve the mystery that had shaped her? To step out of her father's shadow and into her own light? No matter what secrets they uncovered, what dangers they faced, she would see this through. For her father. For herself. For the truth. No matter how horrifying it might be. As they turned together to stride deeper into the temple's cool shadows, Samantha couldn't shake the feeling that the ground had just shifted beneath her feet that her carefully ordered world had just tilted on its axis. She had no idea how right she was. The labyrinthine corridors of the temple seemed to close in around Samantha as she followed Drake deeper into the shadows, their footsteps echoing off the age-worn stone. The musty air was thick with the weight of centuries, the secrets of the past pressing down like a physical force. Drake moved with the confidence of a man who'd navigated countless ruins, his lean, muscled frame exuding a coiled energy that set Samantha's nerves thrumming. There was something magnetic about him, something that drew her in despite her every instinct screaming to keep her distance. Trust no one. That had been her mantra for as long as she could remember, a shield against the pain of loss, of betrayal. But with each step, each shared glance heavy with unspoken understanding, she could feel that shield beginning to crack. They paused before a towering wall of hieroglyphs, the ancient script seeming to writhe in the flickering light of their torches. Samantha's pulse quickened as she scanned the symbols, her father's teachings rising from the depths of memory. There, she breathed, pointing to a cartouche depicting a figure with the head of a jackal. The sigil of Anubis, guardian of the necropolis. Drake shot her an impressed look. Beauty and brains. I can see why Jonathan was so proud of you. Grief and pride warred in Samantha's chest at the mention of her father. He used to say we were custodians of history. That it was our duty to protect the secrets of the past, not exploit them. A noble sentiment. One that got him killed. Samantha flinched as if she'd been slapped, the brutal words landing like a blow. 
You don't know that, don't I? Drake's amber eyes bored into hers, something dark and haunted swimming in their depths. I've seen what the cult is capable of, Samantha. The lines they're willing to cross. And they won't stop until they have the ank. He traced a finger over the sigil, his voice dropping to a rumble. The key to the afterlife. The power over death itself. Can you imagine what they could do with that kind of weapon? A chill skated down Samantha's spine. A primal terror that had nothing to do with the claustrophobic press of the crypt. The Ampi was said to grant immortality to whoever possessed it, to bend the very laws of nature to their will. In the wrong hands. We won't let that happen, she said fiercely, meeting Drake's gaze with a fire of her own. We'll find it first. For my father. Something flickered across his face, gone too quickly to decipher. Respect? Admiration? Or something more dangerous, more forbidden? He held her gaze a beat longer, before giving a curt nod. For Jonathan? Together they turned back to the wall, scanning the hieroglyphs for any clue to the Anke's location. Minutes ticked by, the silence broken only by the hiss of their torches, the thud of Samantha's heartbeat in her ears. Just as frustration was beginning to simmer in her veins, Drake let out a low whistle. Hello, what's this? Samantha followed his gaze to a small, easily overlooked symbol etched into the base of the wall. A raven with wings outstretched, a miniature ankh clutched in its beak. Her breath caught. The raven of Nefertiti dot dot, said to be her personal sigil, a guide to her tomb. And where the cult believes the ankh was hidden after her death, Drake finished grimly. Bloody hell, this is it. The key we've been searching for. Samantha reached out to trace the delicate lines of the raven, a thrill humming through her blood. All her life, she dreamed of a moment like this. Of standing on the precipice of a discovery that could change everything, rewrite history itself. But the elation was short-lived as reality came crashing back in. They weren't the only ones searching for the Ankh. And the cult had a formidable head start. As if conjured by her dark thoughts, a sound echoed from the depths of the tunnel ahead. The scrape of footsteps on stone, low, guttural voices, chanting in an ancient tongue that raised the hairs on the back of Samantha's neck. Drake cursed under his breath, extinguishing his torch with a hiss. We've got company. Looks like the cult beat us to the punch. Samantha's heart hammered against her ribs, adrenaline spiking through her system. They were cornered, trapped in the heart of an ancient necropolis with a ruthless enemy closing in. Every instinct screamed at her to run, to flee back to the safety of daylight and the known world. But she knew with bone-deep certainty that there was no going back. Not now, not when she was so close to the truth, to finding out what really happened to her father. She caught Drake's gaze in the guttering torchlight, saw the same reckless determination reflected back at her. In that moment, an unspoken understanding passed between them. They were in this together, no matter the cost. Samantha drew the pistol from her thigh holster, the familiar weight of the ivory grip steadying her. How many? Too many. Drake's jaw clenched as he slipped a wicked-looking knife from his boot. But I like our odds. Despite the knot of primal fear in her stomach, Samantha found herself fighting back a grin. This was what she lived for, hurtling into the unknown adrenaline singing in her veins, death nipping at her heels. Custodians of history? She cocked a brow. Drake's eyes glinted, reckless and hungry and alive. More like tomb raiders. As the first black-robed figure materialized from the gloom, scimitar held high, Samantha felt something within her slot into place. Here, in the bowels of an ancient Egyptian crypt, gun in hand and deadly secrets beckoning from the dark. She was exactly where she was meant to be. With a shared nod, they lunged into the fray, all doubts incinerated in the heat of battle. Into the cavernous dark, and the dangerous secrets it held. The clash of steel on steel echoed through the ancient crypt, as Samantha and Drake fought back to back, a deadly dance of whirling blades and flying bullets. The air was thick with the coppery scent of blood, the choked cries of the fallen. 
Samantha's heart pounded in time with the recoil of her pistol, every sense heightened, every nerve alight. She felt alive in a way she only ever did in the heat of danger, the rush of adrenaline better than any drug. But, beneath the savage thrill ran undercurrent of something darker, more primal. The knowledge that each cultist who fell was one step closer to the truth, to the revenge she'd sought for so long. Duck! Drake's shout shattered her reverie and she dropped into a crouch just as a scimitar whistled over her head, close enough to stir her hair. She pivoted, firing point-blank into her attacker's chest, the hot spray of blood spattering her face. All right there, love? Drake called over the din, his own blade a silver blur as he parried and thrust. Never better, Samantha bit out, reloading with practiced efficiency. I was starting to get bored. He flashed her a wild, wicked grin, eyes alight with the same battle fever that coursed through her veins. In that moment, splattered with blood and breathing hard, he'd never looked more beautiful, more dangerous. The thought sent a forbidden thrill skittering down her spine, as potent as it was unexpected. She'd spent so long focused solely on her mission, on the drive for answers, that she'd almost forgotten what it was to want. To hunger. She shoved the feeling down, locking it away with all the other weaknesses she couldn't afford. There would be time to untangle the knot of emotions Drake Sullivan stirred in her later. If they survived. As if conjured by the dark thought, a guttural chant rose from the depths of the tunnel, ancient words that seemed to writhe in the air like living things. A chill skated down Samantha's spine, a primordial dread that had nothing to do with the press of enemies around them. The summoning, Drake bit out, his face grim in the guttering torchlight. They're trying to raise Anubis himself. Samantha's blood ran cold. She dismissed the cult's dark magics as superstition, the ramblings of madmen. But here in the heart of an ancient necropolis, with the weight of millennia pressing down on them, she could almost believe that the old gods were real. And listening. We have to stop them, she gritted out, reloading with hands that shook. We can't let them complete the ritual. Drake gave a curt nod, his jaw set. Agreed. But we can't do it alone. As if in answer, a familiar voice echoed from the tunnel ahead, raised in a bellow of defiance. For the Brotherhood. Malik, Dada. Relief and dread warred in Samantha's chest, as her loyal guide burst into the chamber, a dozen robed men at his back. The Brotherhood of Ra, a secret order sworn to protect Egypt's antiquities, and thwart the cult of Anubis at every turn. For a heartbeat, the tide seemed to turn as the Brotherhood clashed with the cultists, ancient steel ringing against ancient steel. But even with the reinforcements, Samantha knew it was only a matter of time before they were overwhelmed. They needed to find the Ankh. Now. She caught Drake's gaze across the melee, saw the same urgency reflected back at her. With a wordless nod, they began to fight their way towards the far end of the chamber, where the raven of Nefertiti pointed the way to the Ankh's hidden resting place. Each step was hard won, each breath ragged in Samantha's lungs as she pushed her body to its limits. Her arms ached from the recoil of her pistols, her legs burned with fatigue. But she pushed on, driven by desperation, by the knowledge that failure was not an option. Not when so much hung in the balance. Her father's legacy. The fate of the world itself. At last, they reached the base of a towering statue of Anubis, its obsidian eyes seeming to bore into Samantha's very soul. Drake ran his hands over the base, searching for a hidden switch, a pressure plate, anything that might trigger a hidden mechanism. Samantha held her breath, heart pounding so loud she was sure it could be heard over the clash of battle behind them. Time seemed to slow, each second an eternity as Drake searched, as the chanting grew louder, more frenzied. And then, with a rumble that shook the very foundations of the earth, the statue began to grind backwards, revealing a narrow passageway leading down into the dark. Samantha exhaled a shaky breath, hope and terror warring in her chest. This was it. The path to the Ankh, to the answers she'd sought for so long. Drake met her gaze, 
his eyes glinting with the same fierce determination, the same reckless hunger. Are you ready for this? Staring into those fathomless amber depths, Samantha had never been more sure of anything in her life. I was born ready. With a shared nod, they plunged into the darkness, the sounds of battle fading behind them as they descended into the very bowels of the necropolis. Into the heart of a mystery that had haunted Samantha's every waking moment for the last decade. They emerged into a cavernous chamber, the air thick with the musty scent of age, of secrets long buried. And there, resting on an altar of gleaming obsidian, was the Ankh of Osiris. It was smaller than Samantha had expected, no bigger than her palm, but it seemed to pulse with an inner light, an aura of power that set her teeth on edge. This was no mere trinket, no dusty relic of a bygone age. This was an artifact of true significance, imbued with the very essence of the gods. Drake let out a low whistle. I'll be damned. The old man actually did it. Samantha's heart clenched at the mention of her father, tears pricking at the backs of her eyes. He'd sacrificed everything for this moment. His career, his life. All in pursuit of a truth the world wasn't ready for. And now, at long last, she would finish what he'd started. Claim the ank, keep it safe from those who would use its power for ill. Her fingers closed around the cool metal, a thrill running through her at the contact. She could feel the energy thrumming beneath her skin, ancient and primal and raw dot eye. It was terrifying. It was exhilarating. It was her birthright. But before she could lift the ankh from its resting place, a slow clap echoed through the chamber. A figure emerged from the shadows, black robes swirling around him like a living thing. Well done, my dear niece. I knew you would lead us to it eventually. Samantha's blood turned to ice in her veins at the sound of that voice, as familiar as it was hated. She turned slowly. Dread a leaden weight in her stomach to face the man who'd haunted her nightmares for as long as she could remember. Uncle Gideon, she breathed. Gideon Blackwood smiled, a cruel twist of his thin lips. Head of the cult of Anubis and her father's murderer. Shock and rage and sorrow collided in Samantha's chest, stealing the breath from her lungs. She'd known Gideon was involved in her father's disappearance, had suspected his hand in the dark events of the past. But to see him here now after all this time, it was like a blow to the solar plexus, a reopening of a wound that had never truly healed. Drake cursed under his breath, hands tightening on his knife hilts. You bloody bastard. You'll pay for what you've done. Gideon chuckled, the sound like nails on a chalkboard. Oh, I very much doubt that, Mr. Sullivan. You have no idea of the true power you meddle with. He turned his gaze to Samantha, dark eyes glittering with malice. And you, so like your father, so convinced of your own righteousness. He never could see the bigger picture. Samantha's fingers tightened around the ankh, rage and grief, a hot knot in her throat. Is that why you killed him? Because he refused to buy into your twisted vision? Killed him? Gideon smiled again, colder than the grave. No, my dear, I did something far worse. He stepped aside, revealing a hunched figure shackled to the wall. A man, wasted and broken, with hollow eyes that stared sightlessly ahead. Samantha's heart stopped. Dad! Tears blurred her vision as she stumbled forward, the ank falling forgotten from her numb fingers. Her mind spun, trying to reconcile the vital laughing mane of her memories with this husk, this shell. What have you done? She choked out. What was necessary? Gideon shrugged. Your father was a stubborn man. He refused to yield the secrets of the Ankh, no matter how persuasive I was. So I had to resort to other methods. Horror settled like a stone in Samantha's gut as realization dawned. The ritual. The chanting. They hadn't been trying to raise Anubis. They'd been preparing a vessel. You bound his soul, Drake said hoarsely. You stole his life force to fuel your own immortality. A crude way of putting it, but accurate enough. Gideon spread his hands. And now, at long last, the Ankh is within my grasp. With its power, 
I will reshape this world in my image. Samantha's gorge rose, revulsion and fury warring in her veins. This man, this monster, he destroyed her family, shattered her world, all for the sake of his own twisted ambition. But beneath the rage simmered a darker emotion, insidious as poison. Guilt, bone deep and aching. If she hadn't been so focused on her own goals, her own need for answers, would she have seen the signs? Could she have saved her father from this fate worse than death? Drake's hand closed over hers, warm and steadying. This isn't your fault, Samantha. You couldn't have known. But staring into her father's vacant eyes, Samantha knew that absolution would be a long time coming. If it ever did. Gideon stooped to retrieve the ankh, caressing it with a lover's touch. And now, my dear niece, now you will join him. Chanting in that same guttural tongue filled the air as more cultists filed into the chamber, forming a circle around them. The torches guttered in a wind that came from nowhere, from everywhere. Terror and determination cr crystallized into icy resolve in Samantha's veins. She would not let it end like this. Would not let her father's sacrifice be in vain. She squeezed Drake's hand once before releasing it, reaching for her pistols with hands that no longer shook. The hell I will. The chanting rose to a fevered pitch, the ancient words seeming to thrum in Samantha's very bones as the cultists closed in around them. The air crackled with eldritch energy, cold terror clawing at the back of her mind. Gideon stood at the center of the maelstrom, the ankh pulsing in his grip, his dark eyes alight with a zealot's fire. You cannot stop the inevitable, Samantha. The power of the gods is mine to command. Samantha's fingers tightened on the triggers of her pistols, Drake a solid presence at her back. I've never been one to back down from a challenge. Gunfire erupted in the enclosed space, deafening against the chanting, the retorts reverberating off the stone walls. Cultists fell, dark blood spattering the ancient flagstones, but more surged forward to take their place, an endless tide of fanatical devotion. Samantha's heart pounded, adrenaline sizzling through her veins, time seeming to dilate with each hammering beat. The world narrowed to the iron sights of her pistols, the bite of the triggers against her fingers, the noxious stink of cordite. This was what she was trained for, what she was born for, to stand against the darkness no matter the cost. But even as she fought, even as the bodies piled up around them, Samantha could feel the noose tightening. They were outnumbered, outgunned, each spent shell casing bringing them one step closer to the end. One step closer to failure. Her gaze flicked to her father, still shackled to the wall, his eyes vacant, soulless. A chill skated down her spine, Gideon's words echoing in her mind. Was this to be her fate? Her soul enslaved? Her life's energy siphoned away to fuel a madman's immortality? Drake, she gritted out, desperation sharpening her voice. If this is it, I need you to know. He glanced over his shoulder at her, eyes widening at whatever he saw in her expression. Don't, he said roughly. Don't you dare say goodbye. We're getting out of this, you hear me? Samantha's throat tightened, tears blurring her vision. She wanted to believe him, needed to believe him. But staring down the barrel of Gideon's ritual, the odds had never seemed so insurmountable. He caught her gaze, amber eyes blazing with a fire that seared straight to her soul. Trust me, Samantha. Please. And God help her, she did. More than she'd ever trusted anyone, save her father. She gave a tight nod, everything she couldn't say passing between them in that loaded glance. Then she turned back to the fight, despair giving way to a grim determination. If this was to be her last stand, she would make it one for the ages. Time blurred into a haze of blood and gun smoke, each breath ragged in her lungs, each movement fueled by sheer stubborn will. Samantha lost herself in the rhythm of battle, all thoughts subsumed by the primal need to survive, to protect the man at her side. And then, as suddenly as it had begun, it was over. Silence fell like a shroud over the chamber, broken only by the labored rasp of her breathing, 
the wild gallop of her heart. Samantha turned slowly, pistols still raised, hardly daring to hope. Gideon stood alone amongst the carnage, robes stained crimson, the Ankh still clutched in his white-knuckled grip. His face was a mask of rage, of thwarted ambition. You think this changes anything? He hissed. You think you've won? I am immortal. I am a god. No, Samantha said, voice steady despite the exhaustion, the soul-deep weariness weighing down her every limb. You're just a man. A sad, twisted little man who's caused enough pain. She raised her pistol, aiming square between those hate-filled eyes. This is for my father, you son of a bitch. The retort echoed through the chamber like divine judgment, the bullet striking true. Gideon's head snapped back, shock slackening his features for one eternal instant. And then he crumpled, the ankh tumbling from his lifeless fingers to clatter against the flagstones. For a heartbeat, Samantha could only stare, her mind struggling to process the sudden shift, the abrupt end to a battle that had consumed her for so long. It was over. It was finally over. And then Drake was there, strong arms pulling her into an embrace that threatened to undo her completely. She sagged against him, face pressed to the sweat-damp column of his throat, hot tears stinging her eyes as the adrenaline, the terror, the soul-shattering relief crashed over her in a tidal wave. You did it, Drake murmured into her hair, his own voice rough with emotion. You saved him, Samantha. You saved us all. But had she? Staring at the broken shell of her father, hope and dread warring in her chest, Samantha wasn't so sure. She pulled back, swiping at her tears with a shaking hand. We have to help him. We have to find a way to restore his soul. Drake's jaw tightened, something bleak and haunted flashing in his eyes. Samantha, you know what Gideon's ritual entails. The transference of life force. If we try to reverse it, I don't care. The words tore from her throat, raw and ragged. I can't leave him like this, Drake. I won't. He held her gaze for a long, charged moment, the air heavy with everything left unspoken between them. Then he gave a slow nod, reaching out to brush a tender thumb over her cheekbone. All right, he said softly. We'll find a way. Together. Resolve crystallized in Samantha's chest, cold and clear as a diamond. She would move heaven and earth to save her father, to undo the evil Gideon had wrought, no matter the cost. But first, she had a debt to settle. She stepped out of the shelter of Drake's arms, crossing to where Gideon's crumpled body lay amidst the ruin. The Ankh glinted in the torchlight, its ancient power seeming to thrum through the very air. Samantha bent to retrieve it, fingers closing around the cool metal, the horals and eddies of its surface biting into her palm. So much strife, so much sorrow. All for this, an artifact of the gods, a relic of a time long past. Was it worth it? The sacrifices made, the blood spilled, the relationships torn asunder? Only time would tell. But one thing Samantha knew with soul-deep certainty as she cradled the ankh to her chest, the comforting weight of Drake's gaze on her back. She would spend the rest of her life finding out. With one last glance at the carnage, the chamber that had borne witness to the darkest chapter of her life, and the dawn of a new one, Samantha turned her back on the past. And, hand in hand with the man she loved, stepped out into the light. The Egyptian sun had never seemed so bright, the desert wind so sweet as it caressed her face, carrying with it the promise of new beginnings. Samantha tipped her head back, breathing deep of air that no longer tasted of secrets and sorrow. She was free. Free of the quest that had driven her for so long, free of the hatred that had poisoned her heart. Free to live, to love, to finally be the woman she was always meant to be. And she would not waste another moment. Samantha turned to Drake. All the yearning, the pent-up passion of the last weeks, months, years, rising up to choke her. She fisted her hands in the front of his shirt, dragging him down into a kiss that seared her to her very soul. He made a sound low in his throat, 
strong arms banding around her, crushing her to the hard planes of his body as he slanted his mouth over hers, deepening the kiss. It was a claiming, a branding. A silent vow passed between hearts too long denied. A promise of forever, come what may. They were both breathing hard when they finally broke apart, foreheads touching as they clung to each other. Samantha's heart felt too big for her chest, a complicated tangle of love and grief and hope lodged beneath her breastbone. What now? Drake asked hoarsely, knuckles grazing the delicate skin beneath her eye, catching the single tear that escaped. Where do we go from here? Samantha caught his hand, raising it to her lips to press a fervent kiss to his palm. Home, she whispered. We go home. Home. To the rolling green hills of her childhood. To the estate that had been in her family for generations. Home to face the ghosts of her past. To lay old demons to rest. Home to begin the long, arduous process of restoring her father. Of picking up the pieces of the life Gideon had shattered. It wouldn't be easy. The road ahead was sure to be fraught with challenges, with setbacks and heartache and the echoes of old scars. But Samantha was no stranger to hardship, to the soul-deep ache of loss. And this time, this time, she wouldn't be facing it alone. Drake's fingers tangled with hers, warm and strong and sure. An anchor in the storm, a light in the darkness. They had found each other in the most unlikely of places, two lost souls adrift on the tides of fate. But they had weathered those tides together, had emerged from the crucible of grief and betrayal, stronger, surer. United. Samantha leaned into him, fresh tears tracking down her cheeks as she gazed out over the shimmering sands, the weight of the ank heavy against her heart. So much lost. So much still to be reclaimed. But she had hope now. Hope? Oh, and love. And really, when it came down to it, what else did a body need? Hand in hand, hearts entwined, they set off across the desert, the pyramids rising like ancient sentinels behind them. Toward home. Toward healing. Toward a future neither could have imagined. But one they would face as they had everything else. Together. And as the sun dipped below the endless horizon, painting the sky in strokes of gold and crimson and amethyst, Samantha felt something settle deep in her soul. Peace. Bone deep and luminous. The kind that could only be found on the other side of the darkness. A darkness she had stared into unflinchingly and emerged all the stronger for it. She was not the same woman who had first set foot on these shifting sands, driven by grief and vengeance and the all-consuming need for answers. She had walked through fire, had faced the demons within and without, and she had triumphed. Not unscathed. Not unchanged. But victorious all the same. And now, with the man she loved by her side and the promise of a new dawn stretching out before her, Samantha knew, with a soul-deep certainty, that she was exactly where she was meant to be. Exactly who she was meant to be. A woman forged in the crucible of adversity. Tempered by loss, by love, by the unshakable conviction that even in the darkest of nights, there was always light. All she had to do was hold on. All she had to do was believe. So she did. And hand in hand with her heart, her home, Samantha Ray stepped out into the brave new world, ready for whatever adventures and adversities lay ahead. Come what may.